All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna go over analogous colors in both Photoshop and Illustrator. Again, for this project, you can choose whatever uh, color you want, but it has to be analogous in any subject matter you want. So again, this is some you know, uh, work from online, and then we have some student work here, right, that we have had in the past. So now those colors are colors close to each other in the color wheel, and so any of those that you want, you can choose and make a cool image. So in Photoshop, I'll show first, and then I'll show Illustrator. Go File New, create your tabloid document, choose horizontal or vertical, whichever one you want, click Create. And then basically with Photoshop, you have the color picker here, which is really nice. So I'm in the Essentials workspace. So if you're not in that workspace, you can click on this little widget here and go to the Essentials, and you'll have access to the color picker. So uh, what I recommend is add a new layer and essentially select a color that you like, like I like this blue here. The middle triangle, what it represents is the, uh, as, as you can see as I drag it around, the saturation and the brightness or darkness of it. So as you can see it represented here with the saturation, it's either high saturation or low saturation. And then dark to light, essentially, is what we're looking at. So I'm gonna try and keep it about in the middle here, and I'll pick a color here, and basically, uh, my brush palette, if I go to Window and go down to Brushes, here's my brush library of all kinds of different brushes I can paint with. But on this layer, what I'll do is I'll just select a brush here and I'll paint in some colors. So uh, I'm just going along the color picker here and I'm picking some different colors that are right next to each other in the color swatch, or this uh, color circle, I should say. And just going along here and painting away. Now, what I've been doing is I've been painting, I forgot, I didn't have 100% opacity. So you wanna make sure when you do that when you're doing this. So let me select all these guys and delete them. Because I want the pure color for each of these right away. And so I'll go back and paint them. I thought they looked a little dull. Uh, there we go. It's a little better now. I'll just get like five, I don't know, five different colors maybe right here. And then like one more. So now from these colors, I can select a color just by holding down the all drop eyedrop tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock down this layer. I'm going to first name it. I'll call it um, color, and this will be basically my my locked swatch. Basically, then I'll add a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon next to trash can. This layer I can paint whatever I want on, but if I want to select any of these colors, all I got to do is hold the Alt key and select that color, and then paint away. Hold the Alt, select that color, and paint away. Hold the Alt, select that color, and paint away. So it's really easy to grab these different colors and paint away on them. Now to drop the opacity, if I want to make them more transparent, I can adjust this, the transparency here, and it'll be more transparent. And then I can build up those, those values of color. Uh, you can also double click in the color picker here and go up or down to get sort of darker shades of that color or lighter shades of that color. And so you can work that way too. That's pretty much working analogous colors in Photoshop. Again, anything you want, just work with that color ring, set up your locked colors on their own layer, then add new layer and paint away it any way you want. Now in Illustrator, we're gonna go File New. Again, choose Print, choose Tabloid Size, uh, which looks like is right here. Choose Horizontal or Vertical, click Create. And then I'm gonna be in the Essentials workspace in the beginning here. But if I want to truly paint, I'm gonna switch it to the painting workspace. I'm gonna to switch to painting by clicking this little icon here and go down to painting. Once I do that, I have the color picker here and I can click in here and choose colors. But notice the swatch library here, I can click on this little hum hamburger icon and go down to open swatch library. And there's all these libraries of colors you can choose from. But there is scientific ones based on color theory. So again, I went to the open watch swatch library scientific, and then here's analogous. And here's some analogous colors that I can choose. I can choose any of these libraries I want. Once I click on them, they'll be loaded in my swatch library here, right? So now I can click on one of these and paint away. Now I think it's a good idea to work with the blob brush in Illustrator and work with the eraser tool. That way you can kind of work with shapes and go back and forth. So the eraser tool, which has a hotkey of shift E, I can hold the mouse down and go to the tear out bar and have that available. And the blob brush, which has the hotkey of shift B, I can go to the tear out bar and have that. So I click on the middle one and the left one. So I can go back and forth this way if you don't like hotkeys to refine your shapes, right? 
and then go back and forth. If I want to change the opacity of any of these shapes that I just painted, I'll have to just select them and then up here I can click on here and drop the opacity and it'll be more transparent. Okay, any value change I want to change on that color, uh, so say I select these guys, I can double click in the swatch library and I can come in here and pick a darker shade of that color. So that works pretty much the same as in um, Photoshop, just by double clicking on that. You just gotta make sure you double click on the back one, not the front one. So double click, pick whichever color you want, click OK, and then paint away with the, the blob brush. And then uh, you know refine with the eraser tool. So I have fun exploring uh, basically analogous colors in Photoshop or Illustrator. Until next time, see you soon.